Hey Dean, it's Jess. Just wondering if you were working tonight or doing whatever it is you actually do. I might come in for a few drinks. Let me know. Bye. Hi Dean. It's Scott. Again. Listen, I really want to talk to you. Please call me back. Bye. Cheers. When do you get off tonight? It's another late one, I think. Well, if your busy schedule clears up any time soon, do you think you can come round to fix the sink? Yeah. Sure. Two minutes. What can I get for you, mate? Uh, whiskey. Neat. Keep the change. Cheers. So, you worked here long? A few years. Oh, right. So what brings you in? You meeting someone here? <laughs> you could say that, yeah. Two whiskies, please. You know, it's funny. What's up? You're a lot smaller than I thought you'd be. Do you still not recognize me? Get out. Dean, please. I said, get out. How the hell did you get in here? Door's open. Mm. Come on in then, make yourself at home. Alright then. Thanks. So, I work with Dad now. Nothing major, just help run the smaller office. Lots of boring paperwork. Not the most exciting job in the world, but I suppose it was time I got a real job. I don't care, Scott. I don't want to hear about your perfect fucking life anymore. My life's not perfect. And maybe yours would be a hell of a lot better if you stopped carrying around all this shit. This shit? You think it's nothing? You think it's nothing growing up without a family? No, no, obviously I don't think that. But everybody's got stuff going on, Dean. It's not just you. I wouldn't know. There's only ever been me. I wasn't born with a silver spoon up my ass. Is that what you think? You don't know what it's been like. Why are you here, Scott? 
Why now? Because I'm getting married, Dean. And I want you to be there. You're my brother. I'm not your brother. I don't even know you. Is that my fault? I've tried to get to know you. Why didn't they want me? Listen. If you still want to talk, I'll be outside at 10 tomorrow. That shouldn't be giving you any more trouble. Cheers. You're a lifesaver. Fancy a smoke? So you've got a brother? Yeah, looks like it. You don't seem very happy about it. Doesn't change anything. But surely it's a good thing. I've always done everything on my own. It's the only way I know how. And that's no one's choice but yours, Dean. You push people away. You push me away. Don't do the same to your brother. Then why do you still stick around? Not everyone wants to leave you, Dean. This is where I grew up. I used to wait, thinking someone would come back for me. They could have come back for me. Someone could have came back. I'm sorry. This should never have happened to you. I hate them for what they did. Eventually I stopped winning. I learned to look after myself. Doesn't have to be like that anymore. You got me now. So... So what's this fiancé of yours like? Yeah, she's alright. Just alright. <laughs> Great start to a marriage. <laughs> I never blamed you. Hi Dean, it's Scott. I just wanted to say, I understand if you don't want to come today. If you're not ready to see the rest of the family, I get it. But I hope you do. Anyway, I'm glad I got to meet you. We've got a lot of time to make up for. What's the point in a silver lining if you're reaching for gold? Got my head on a stone. And it's coming up tomorrow. Can you hear my 
Coming for you. 